Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks and we're still at ASUS event in Berlin, Germany for IFA 2013 and what we have right here is the new ASUS Transformer Book T300. So what you get is basically an Intel Core i5 and i7 based Haswell based 13.3 inch Ultrabook style convertible 2-in-1 design. So what you can do with this is this is a tablet device so it's got the full HD screen in there, it's an IPS panel based on a Core i5 and Core i7, Haswell generation as I said, up to 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs SSD at minimum, goes up to 20, 256, they don't know yet what configurations they're going to do on the SSDs, um, but what's special about this is all the technology is basically in the tablet part, in the main, in behind the display, so you can actually unlock this and they're using a magnetic unlocking mechanism as compared to the older model, that's the TX300 from last year. And there's magnetic strips in here that actually help you to guide the, the, the tablet part into the hinge right there. And let me just try and get this in there like this. And it actually works more easy than on the older model because there's no real hooks in there. There's only one major hook down here that actually plugs into the notebook itself or the tablet part. Let's try that again and that's definitely usable. So on the two-in-one designs, there's sometimes a problem putting the tablet part back into the dock. So Asus has actually worked that out. Um, let's take a quick look at the device. Up here we have a HD-capable webcam. There's two microphones up here. And since this is actually based on Intel Core i5 and i7 CPUs, you have some air vents up here and the power button right next to that. Let me just get it out of the dock again. And let's take a look at the left side. We have a volume rocker right there. This is a battery indicator and another microphone, I think. Another couple of air vents, a micro HDMI out. That's the DC plug where you can actually put in the power brick. And that's a headset jack. Over here, we have a super speed USB 3 port. On the bottom, there's only the hinges and a micro SD card slot up here on the right. And on the right side of the device, you have Sonic, Sonic Master speakers. So those are only on the right side, but they're supposed to put out pretty decent sound. On the back, you have a basic camera. We don't know the resolution exactly, but we're gonna put that in the description for you. And it's got a nice aluminum back casing. The device itself, the tablet part, since it's a 13.3 inch full HD IPS panel and all the other notebook parts in there, the weight should be around 1 kilo or 1.2 maybe and what you get with it is actually a docking station that contains another battery so this prolongs the battery life to up to eight hours on a single charge so they're not only putting in the keyboard in here but they also have under this full metal cover a another battery um, the keyboard itself it feels pretty sturdy, there's no flex at all. The key travel is kind of low because it's, they're trying to keep it thin and still fit in the battery. Um, seems to work totally fine. I don't know if I'm, it's even wirelessly connected, so you can actually use these two parts separate from each other. So you could actually use this um, as your desktop system and just connect this to a, just have this put in a stand on your desktop and connect it through the display port or HDMI to another device. Um, let's take a quick look around the dock. Here we have the USB port. That's a micro USB port that's actually also used for charging. On the top there's only the hinge. Let's just take a quick look again. There's this hook that hooks up into the tablet part itself. And on the right there's pretty much nothing. And that's pretty much it on the uh, tablet part. Uh, it's supposed to be coming out pretty soon after IFA and as you saw the connecting really works pretty good. It doesn't tilt that far back so you might want to um, so you might want to make sure you can sit far enough from the display. Um, works pretty good and it's folded together so you can see the thickness of the whole device. Looks pretty much all right. Weighs in should, feels like a, around 1.6 at least kilograms. Feels kind of heavy but that's because there's two batteries in there and let's open it up again. 
and it's coming out just after IFA. The pricing is supposed to be way under uh, 1,000 euros, so you might be looking at 800 to 900 euros. And yeah, it will be available soon. I was rolling with Mobile Geeks, and this is the new Asus Transformer Book T300.